Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the guy from church. Today I would like to talk about the Bible and um, a progressive and liberal way of reading the Bible, but not only reading the Bible, but living its message in this world and in our lives. The Bible is not a, bo a book about rules and dogmas. The Bible is about a book of men and women that encountered God and led us in on their struggle with their faith, but also with their hope in their lives and where God was in these moments. It's about discovering God in the hidden places of our lives. You see, Moses, Noah, Abraham, and Jonas, they never really existed. But their stories tell us about the wisdom and the love and the beauty of God in our world and in our lives. You see, these stories, they support me and they inspire me every day. I get a tr tremendous amount of inspiration and hope and guidance through these stories. And they don't need to be true for me to acknowledge their beauty and see God in them and also see God in my life. And these stories don't need to be true either to make God true. I believe that God made our earth millions and millions of years ago and he has created a wonderful world and he's still creating an amazing world it matters a little to me if the bible character really existed if the flood and the other bible event really happened the bible should be creative and it should not be conform conforming what matters to me is how the Bible changed my life. How the, these, the wisdom and these stories changed my life and changed the life of those around me. And how somewhat they help make this world a better world. See, this is the purpose of these stories. Not that they're true, but that they reveal a God that is true. The Bible should lead us to growth to spiritual growth, not to safety, a safety from hell and a safety from the fears of this world and the problem of these wor this world. The Bible is not a magical book that will grant all of our wishes. The Bible is there to strengthen us and to reveal us to us a God that is wonderful and amazing. And again, the Bible should not be taken should, the Bible should be taken very seriously, but not literally. It never was the intent of the Bible to be taken literally. That was not the intent. I had to comment because we see so many people using the Bible as a weapon. So many people using the gospel as a way to exclude and to judge others. Actually, if they really were reading the Bible, they would be surprised that they're not following God, but they're following rules and they are worshiping a book. So this is my final point. Hope this will encourage you to discover the Bible and see it and read it in a new way. Until next time, take care. Bye.